The Cat's Call by Suzanne Muldowney. An earthquake had struck. Townspeople and rescue troops were busily at work trying to restore utilities and free trapped citizens from fallen debris. Underdog was standing by, waiting to act in case of extreme emergencies. Just then, he heard a wailing noise. It came from a house where a section of wall had collapsed and water was trickling out across the floor. The wail sounded like an animal crying. <coughs> Underdog punched through a part of the wall where the sound had come from on the other side. He peered into the hole and then reached in. Out of the hole, he pulled a live cat soaked to the skin. He pressed the cat closely against himself, trying to calm it and dry it at the same time. But the cat, instead of relaxing, was still struggling. It was still meowing. It wriggled itself so that Underdog had to put it down. Wobbly on its feet, the cat stayed by the fallen wall, staying clear of the running water and ceaselessly wailing. One more down here. Keep still, man. We'll have you out of here in a second. Oh, it's underdog. Thank you. My ribs. Here, here, put your arms around my neck. Is that okay? Oh, that's my ribs. Oh. Uh, uh, obviously, a rib case will need medical help. Okay? Can you walk? Give uh, them help, boys. Hooray! If it hadn't been for this cat mewing, uh, I wouldn't have been able to find that man. The cat was uh, uh, sort of a homing device. This, this cat's a hero, if it hadn't been for its mewing. Yay! <laughs> Sometime later, there was a town meeting in which its officials commended the citizens who had aided after the quake. Look, that's Underdog, but why is he holding that cat? Mm. <laughs> well, sir, Underdog, for your utmost courage, unyielding courage, and your Herculean effort to save our city, we owe you our utmost gratitude and the great Courage Metal to prove our undying gratitude. <laughs> I appreciate your thoughtfulness uh, and the award, but the credit should really go where it's due, and, and that's to uh, this cat. Uh, if it hadn't been for the cat's mewing, uh, I wouldn't have been uh, given a, you know, a guideline signal uh, in order to, to rescue Mr. Edwards. So I think, to be fair, the, uh, the award should go to, to Mr. Edwards' cat. Well, whatever you say, underdog. Uh, oh, perfect. The cat's owner was so pleased that his pet received rightful mention. The end.